Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bright and early today. Um, I even managed to get some footage of the bats. I was that early walking the dogs. I hope they turn out anyway, otherwise you'll not know what I'm talking about because I haven't included it. Anyway, today we have begun renovations at the house and uh, we've just removed a massive concrete capstone there which is on the floor over yonder cut up into four pieces it really was big um, I chopped it up with the Makita diamond tip blade petrol saw and now we're just taking this wall down to reveal the edge of this large concrete slab which I'm stood on it's basically one of those and you can see how thick it is if I put a bolster next to it for reference it's pretty thick so what we're going to do to take this down I've got it propped up in the center I'm going to do some cuts this way and remove like a sliver another cut remove a sliver another cut remove a sliver thus keeping the whole of the main slab intact no cuts this way because there's no supporting wall down the center i've got some acros in there but that's the plan i don't know if we're going to get around to doing that today but we're certainly going to be able to remove this wall then i'm going to have to shutter this off with ply or something so we don't end up with uh, a draft blowing through the porch because this is going to stay until the last minute when we need to get rid of it so we're in pr the process of removing this extraordinarily thick concrete roof fortunately it does have reinforcing in there it seems to me like it might be one inch weld mesh or something like that so it's holding it together but something that we found out if you look at this roof over here it's got like an overhang that side along this edge and along that side whereas ours overhang that side but this side it had a little dwarf wall up here so if you have a look just look how much is sat on the brickwork there and that's not even a proper brick if you look at these ones that we've I've just touched this across so it doesn't fall off obviously propped with acros and everything else but look at that there's the edge of the brick there's a broken section of the brick look not even a, a flat brick and the edge of this is also got a um, like it's rounded it's got a circumference on it so that could in theory push this wall out so the dodgy and dangerous I'm surprised that the council have kept so many of them up I mean if you just look yonder you'll see one two there's four there because they come in groups of two back to back then there'll be more further on and definitely there's more up that way as well a bit dodgy in it Jim oh look I stay to you you're filthy what have you been doing just watching <laughs> so I've watched this across now wide enough so what I'm gonna do stand it on its edge and then flip it onto there and then we've been chopping them into four and that over there is around half of the roof I think we're past halfway now anyway so it's all looking promising. Day one. Oh my god, it looks like a step toes yard. But we've got it down. There's the roof. All in nice manageable blocks. I say manageable, they're about 40 kilograms a piece. We've just got that back piece there to cut out. It's aunched into the back of the opposing unit. So we just have to take some header bricks out, squeeze it forwards, chop it up and then point the bricks back up that we've taken out not a problem these walls are single skin um, this one didn't have anything supporting it so I've knocked down the majority of it just so it's safer and it's not going to collapse on anyone and then I've just wiped the doors and whatever other bits of timber I've got there to keep it all well windproof not really weatherproof and that one it's got a pier that seems solid enough so that'll be alright and of course it's got the timber structure at the back of it kind of supporting it and it's raining so we didn't get around to knocking that one down but next few days if I can get uh, some spare time to do it tomorrow and it's you know the weather's fine we'll probably get round to finishing this off if you think about it it's where the brewery started isn't it Idle Valley Brewery started in there 
many moons ago. But things change, don't they? So there we go. That's the end of this little um, vlog. And we'll see you on the next one.